Morning, I hope you're well. I thought I would do a quick back to school video. Uh, my son has gone off with his dad now for a couple of days. So I thought I would take this opportunity and do a quick back to school video for you. And I've sat on the floor because where all my kids' school uniform is, I've put it all away nicely and organised in the drawer, ready to go. Uh, so I'm not trying to like iron anything or do any of that stressful stuff that people do when it's back to school time. I've already done everything that I need to do. So um, I'm going to start off with my son's school shoes. So these are school shoes that I picked up for my son. Now, I usually pick up Asda ones and they usually cost me anywhere between 15 and 25 pound, uh, depending on the style that he wants or uh, what they've actually got in stock. Anyway, I didn't want to pay that much this time because basically summer holidays just took all my money <laughs> so i actually went on amazon and these were only 9.99 9.99 and they're absolutely brilliant they're really really nice i'll link them in a the description box below uh, they're really comfortable my son really likes them they're they've got plenty of room left in them so that he can grow i'm probably gonna have to buy him more at easter because he grows so fast but for $9.99 for a pair of school shoes, what bargain? Because he's only going to get them scuffed. So I'd rather just pay the cheapest I can. So if you haven't bought your school shoes yet, and it's still something you've got to go and do, before you go out to the shops and pay a fortune, have a look on Amazon. Especially if you can get next day delivery, then you can get them today or tomorrow. Get them before school starts so they don't wear it. You can send them back and still got time to go and get other ones if you wanted to just might help save money. Now, as for my son's school jumper, I've ordered him a brand new school jumper and a brand new uh, school PE shirt. They haven't arrived yet. The PE shirt I'm a little bit worried about, but they don't usually do PE on the first week. They usually do it on the second week. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be getting uh, the uniform in the next couple of days. However, his school jumper, the ones that he had at the end of last term still fit him. So he's going to be wearing those until they don't fit him anymore. And I'm hoping I can drag that out till October time, which is when he has his school photos. And then I'll put the new jumper on him. So we'll have a nice new jumper on for school photos. Unless, of course, the school photos are in the afternoon for his year group and he messes it up in the morning. Like, you know, just like kids do. So I think I'm going to do that. I also think I'm going to put the brand new school jumper on him on the first day of school, take a photo of him before he goes to school and then switch the jumpers. <laughs> so I got that nice new jumper look, but he's not going to wreck it on the first day of school. Anyway, this jumper cost me £13 and the t-shirt cost me 7 just because it has the logo on. So that's the only t-shirts I'm going to buy him for this year. If he gets too big, I'm going to either buy ones without a logo on because they're happy to have uh, jumpers and t-shirts without a logo on. So he'll get those if he outgrows it. Or I will go to the PTA because a lot of people, once they outgrow their school clothes, they donate it to the school and the school can sell it on to people that struggle. And usually the jumpers are anywhere between three and four pounds. But I always like him to have a brand new one at the start of the year. Then I'll either buy non-logo ones or I'll just go to the PTA and get him a second-hand one. So that's basically what he's going to be doing. His school trousers, I already picked up at Easter because he had a bit of a growing spurt in Easter. So I went and got him some new school trousers. I tried them on him the other day. They fit him fine. So I don't need to go and buy any more school trousers. I probably will at Easter, but I don't need to buy some right now. So that saved me some more money this summer. All his other PE kit, like PE shorts and joggers, they still fit him. So I'm not going to bother going and buy any of those. My mum, however, did pick up a pair of um, navy blue joggers and black joggers that were in the sale in Primark for £2 each. So she basically got his joggers for PE. So I said, brilliant, thank you. So that saved me even more money. So this school uniform has saved me a fortune so far. Now, when they go back to school, quite typically... Quite typically, there's going to be a heat wave, as it always is. And he's got school shorts. And I think, I'm hoping I can get away with it just till the end of September, which then he'll go into trousers and I can buy him new shorts either in the winter, ready for spring and summer. So I'm kind of hoping I can get away with it just for a month. Just for a month. Just a few weeks. Hopefully. Hopefully. If not, I can just go and pick him up some more. But I'm hoping to save myself some money 
by not doing that just yet. If you've seen my previous video when it comes to a rucksack, we found a minion one because my son is massively into minions at the moment for one pound at the car boot. So he's taking that rucksack. He doesn't want a book bag this year. He wants a rucksack. So that saved me extra money on the book bag because his was all scuffed. Um, but no, he wants a rucksack this year. So he's got a minion one that cost me a pound in the car boot. So can't really moan at that. Now it's the polo shirts. Now I told my mum in just a general chat, I need to go and buy some polo shirts for my son. And I went to Asda that morning and picked up two polo shirts for £8. And then my mum went to Tesco that afternoon without me knowing and picked up five polo shirts for £10. So now my son has seven polo shirts <laughs> so i offered my mum the money of course i always offer my mum the money back and she said no it's fine it's my treat i want to treat him so i was like okay that's that's great that helps me out massively so i didn't have to buy anything for the seven polo shirts only eight pound for the polo shirts so so far i spent 13 pound for a jumper seven pound for a t-shirt ten pound for some shoes and eight pound for the polo shirts i also i'm not going to show you but i also picked him up some new briefs i've tried him with boxers but he doesn't quite feel comfortable in them yet so he's just got some new uh normal boy pants they were four pound i think in a sale in poundland uh for five pairs so i thought that's great so he's still got plenty of pants but i just like him to have new pants and i can throw some old ones away and the school ones can then go in the pant box that he has to wear like at weekends and times he's with me then he's got new pants for school i also picked up a load of socks school socks these were two pound fifty i think for five pairs in asda i thought you can't go wrong with that he's still got some of his old socks left so i need to go through them and see if any of them are threadbare or if they're not comfortable anymore but he's got brand new socks so they're two pound fifty here's the polo shirts look decent just normal polo shirts so i got five for ten pound in tesco from my mum and then i got two for eight pound in asda so can't go wrong and then the final things that i bought my son is a lunch box or a lunch bag he doesn't like a lunch box likes a lunch bag and a water bottle so i did pick him up this lunch bag uh the pokemon because he was massive into pokemon now he can't decide if he's still into it but he does like the lunch box this was six pound in asda so he likes that and I also bought him a very tall uh, Pokemon water bottle that went with this. But when he saw it, he claimed it as his. And now he uses that every single day rather than for school. So I went and picked up a blue one, a plain blue one, that I'm going to write his name on the bottom of um, for £3 in Asda. But I saw that Mum Life and More, she picked up some stainless steel ones for £4 in Asda. And I'd rather have a stainless steel one. So I think I'm going to go and have a little hunt for those in our Asda this week at my shopping. If they do, then he can have a stainless steel one for school. And we use this one for home because a couple of his have got broken. But eventually I want to move over from all plastic to stainless steel or glass. But it's a process. I'm not going to go out and invest all my money in stainless steel and glass straight away and just get rid of it. When something breaks, I replace it with stainless steel. If the plastic tubs don't look as nice anymore, I'll replace it with glass. So that's how I'm doing it. I don't know how much in total that I've actually spent with the back to school stuff, but I will put a price here because I can see there's a big space by my head. <laughs> so I'll put the price here of how much I've actually spent. But because my child's nowhere near secondary school yet, it is a lot cheaper. My son hasn't had school dinners for a long time he only had school dinners when he was in reception since then he's not had them he doesn't like them he's always had lunch boxes so that's not an extra cost that i have to pay for school dinners and i feel that you can do it a lot cheaper by sending them with a packed lunch anyway it's just a lot of people can't bother with the time because i know when it comes to paying for school dinners i think it's like three pound a day for school dinner and i just feel like well i can buy bread and cheese and ham for less than that and make school dinners for all week and snack wise i can buy enough stuff probably to last in two weeks and because obviously 
he's not with me every other Monday, my ex has a lunchbox for him because my ex takes him to school every other Monday. That's one extra day that I don't have to worry about. So that's personally me, but do let me know, do your children have packed lunches for school or do you pay for the school dinners? And do you pay for them because it's cheaper for you or do you pay for them because it's more convenient? Just out of curiosity, just let me know. So, and that's back to school, so not too bad. My son goes back to school on Tuesday. My nieces and a few friends of ours uh, don't go back till Wednesday. Um, so I'm guessing my son will have an extra inset day somewhere else later in the year. But yeah, that is my back to school video. Not much, not as much as I, I've seen other people, but they're buying stationery and I don't have to do that just yet. So let me know if that was handy. I will link these school shoes in the description box below. So if you haven't bought them yet, do go and check them out because Amazon are a lot cheaper, especially when you do the filter and make sure that it's prime delivery if you've got prime. And I always move the cursor with the cost down to what I feel is in my budget. I moved it down to £12. These come up as £9.99. So I bought bargain and I bought them and they arrived the next day. So you can't really go wrong. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if it's helped you out or if you feel that I've missed something, do let me know in the comment box below. I still got a few days before my kids got to go to school, so I've got time to go and get anything that I may have missed. Hopefully his school jump and his school t-shirt will be here by the time he goes back. But if not, I'm not stressing about it. I've still got stuff here that he can wear in the meantime. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can see all future videos like this from me. Um, and there's a lot more content coming up. If you know me by now, Christmas is coming. I'm very excited. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a good morning, good day or good evening. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.